Well, it's a busy time for promoter Eddie Hearn. He's in Birmingham at the moment for the Sam Eggington, Frankie Gavin welterweight clash on Saturday night. But everyone wants to know what's going on with Anthony Joshua's next defence. Will it be Vladimir Klitschko? Eddie, what is the latest? You tell me. Um, you know, it's a, it's a frustrating time. We had a, a deal agreed. I worked hard on the contract for two or three weeks. And then uh, Vladimir insisted that the WBA belt would be on the line, which is not something that he was too bothered about initially. Um, lots of rumours that he's now going to fight Lucas Brown uh, in Germany on December 10th, which would be a huge letdown for broadcasters and fans. But we are waiting on the WBA decision in terms of if, if they will sanction the fight between Anthony Joshua and Vladimir Klitschko, um, which just doesn't sound right to me. It's the biggest fight in the heavyweight division right now. Why would you not sanction it? Maybe uh, they're being driven by Vladimir Klitschko in terms of who he wants to fight. You know, we're the IBF world champion, so we're not really, we haven't really got the right to fight for the WBA world title unless we fight someone that's in the mix there. So it's kind of up to Vladimir Klitschko who he fights, whether he goes Lucas Brown or Anthony Joshua. All across social media, you know, it's people pleading with Vladimir Klitschko and the WBA and saying, look, come on, you know, this is the fights we need to make in boxing. It's so frustrating when you get an opportunity to make a fight like this and someone prefers an easy touch, an easy defence in Germany. Now I feel this is the time to make this fight and we're desperate to do it. Is the situation caused by Lucas Brown originally taking the WBA to court over being reinstated as champion? Well, Lucas Brown has to get a shot at the regular title, which is, you know, obviously not as big as the, the super title, which, which Tyson Fury held and obviously relinquished. So our fight, unification fight, should be for the, the WBA super title between Vladimir Klitschko and Anti-Joshua. Uh, Lucas Brown would then fight the next available contender. David Hayes trying to get that fight for the regular title as well. So it's a complete mess. And we're just hoping that common sense prevails. We're ready to go. We're ready to sign a contract. Right now at the Manchester Arena is Sky Sports, Showtime, RTL, the German broadcasters, having a site visit to plan for December 10. But I have a gut feeling that the Lucas Brown fight is the one they actually want. I don't know whether all of a sudden, you know, Vladimir started listening to a few comments from David Hay and these people saying this is, this is a, a brutal win for anti Joshua and said, you know, maybe I'll just take the brown fight in Germany. I don't blame him, but as a boxing fan and someone that wants to see the biggest fights and someone's job to make the biggest fights, it's really frustrating. So apparently the WBA are going to make their decision today. Um, I'm not particularly hopeful, but at the same time, you know, if, if, if everyone's sensible and everyone wants the best for boxing, this fight will get made. What is your contingency plan for Joshua? Um, quite a few guys, probably about six or seven guys all on the phone. You know, guys that are similarly in the mix. I still really like the Pulev fight. We've done everything we could prior to the Klitschko fight to secure that fight. Um, you know, guys in America making some noise. Eric Molina, Brian Jennings, David Price here seems to be wanting to call Anthony Joshua out as well. Ustinov, who's the WBA, uh, supposed to be fighting for the interim world title with the WBA. So lots of guys, and, and they're fine for Anthony Joshua's next fight. But when we wanted Vladimir Klitschko, that's the one we want. So we're doing everything we can to secure it. If Vladimir Klitschko wants this fight, this fight will get made. That's the bottom line. And with the WBA's help and a little nudge here and now, we can get it over the line. But uh, like I said, it's, the last couple of days have been tough, you know, because we've been on the crest of a wave thinking this is going to happen. And, and then it looks like it hasn't going to happen at all. Yesterday, there was a small ray of hope last night. Every phone call you have, you know, whether it's with Lucas Brown's team, the WBA, Bern Bonte, you know, you're up, you're down. Is he telling the truth? Is he lying? You know, I'm hopeful now. I don't think it's going to happen. It's just, it's non-stop. Hopefully they'll put us out of our misery today.